In this video, I will show you how to create a scrolling quote text window. This is not a video on how to create text which scrolls right to left or left to right or across the entire screen. There are many, many, many videos out there for that. However, in watching several of those, it seems quite a few had as the first step to download Filmora, which I thought was pretty silly, but for the sake of wanting this to be a complete tutorial, begin with plugging your computer into the wall and turning it on. Be sure to connect it to the internet. Finally, download Filmora and open the program. All right, enough of being silly. Two other components you will need are the video file and a picture of the text you're going to quote. For instance, a PNG or a JPEG. Now that we've accomplished those steps, let's proceed. Okay, so we have uh, the, this video file I'm going to bring down here. It's just a random video file I went and found on pouring coffee. It's it is good a an example as anything else. And the reason I'm putting two of them in the timeline is I just need that length of time, which will become apparent in a moment. The second step is you take your text file that you want to quote and place that on the timeline above it. It needs to be above it so that it shows in on in front. All right, then you right click on that text picture, come up to crop and zoom. When this window opens, you want to click pan and zoom. And then for the ratio, it needs to be a custom ratio. Then what you do is highlight the, the start area come down and grab this bottom button right here, bring it up to the first two lines of your quote. Take the end, bring it down to the bottom and adjust the ending window where it is the same width and the same height. So in other words, the bottom two lines of text, click OK. So now you will see this is where your quote window will show up. If this is not where you want it, you can just mouse down on either the top or the bottom and drag it to wherever you want it to show up, either all the, you know, just wh wherever you want it. So we'll do it right there. Okay, then to let's watch what happens, press the play button. And as it plays, your text pops up and will scroll in its own window. But of course, you say, I can't possibly read that as I am quoting the text. Well, of course. In order to adjust the speed at which your text scrolls, you need to expand the length of time that this is on is a part of your video. So you just grab the right hand side of it and expand it out for as long as you need to. You can work with this as many times to get it just how you want it. So now when you come over here and play this again, you see that the text scrolls very slowly and you just practice reading that right now as much as many words that are there and as fast as you can read. If that's still too fast, give it an even longer on your timeline and it will slow it down even further to the point where just as an extreme, you can move it all the way out. And you can see how slow it scrolls now. That gives you enough time to read the quote as you are on in your own voice, reading the quote and also be sure to give wherever the source of your quote credit for where you got the quote.
typically this is, you know, you're a, you're quoting a an authority on whatever you're trying to prove your point over. Be sure and give them credit in in your voiceover. That's just a side thought on my point. Okay, that's the end of this very short tutorial. I hope it was helpful. It was helpful for me because this is exactly what I wanted for my video. I wasn't able to find it anywhere else, so I decided to make my own. Thank you for watching.